Right, it's the 30th of December, the day before New Year's Eve. It's a Monday. I come on the bus from Weston to Winscombe, and I'm going up on the West Mendip Way. Now this looks like mud mixed with a bit of concrete. It's really, really bad, isn't it? Hopefully this will set when it dries out eventually. A lot of it's just getting washed down now. It's definitely concrete though. Yeah, I'm having to walk around the edges. Now today, even this morning, I checked the weather. It said blue sky, no cloud, no mist, no wind hardly. But look at it. The chill factor with the wind. I've put my waterproof trousers on to keep off the wind. We act as a windshield as well as waterproofs. I decided not to do the reverse walk of the one I did last week because of this mist appearing. Now yesterday was the perfect day. Absolutely beautiful skies. Not a cloud. No mist. And today, which was supposed to be, yesterday was supposed to be cloudy. But now look, it's grey. I'm protected in this Mendip way at the moment. I'm heading for Roborough and the Warren where I will also be protected. Um, so I'm doing a little bit more protection walk and when I get to the stud, not stud farm, the stables, I will then be well, when I get to the area of Outstanding Beauty, that'll be the first time I'm exposed. And I'm hoping by then, which is a good hour, two hours time, that this, this mist would have lifted. Because there is blue sky up there. So I'm hoping it would have lifted. But I'm being held up by these terrible conditions. Look at that track. It's really bad, isn't it? People are having to spread out more, come on the sides, and that's it, that causes erosion, you see. I've just seen where I could have gone. Now, there, I could have come through that field. There's a gap there in the, in the barbed wire. So you don't have to walk past that bit. I'm just going to remember that gap, because the farmer could mend it. Yeah, I was looking for where there was a gate. But there's a gap there, that would have been alright for me to have walked through the field there. But I have been alright, I'm not too bad. Gradually getting muddy though, you can't help it when your boots scuff up against you. Um, can't help it, I'm just going to climb up over here a bit, so avoid the mud a bit. It will, as I get higher up, it will... Well, I don't know. It should get better, the pathway. Not an animal in sight. I did see one sheep back there. Oh, that was, there's more sheep over there. So anyway, this is the final big walk of 2019, everyone. There is a parallel path up there I sometimes take. But I decided not to because of the mud, but it's just as bad here. Yeah, it's very misty up there. I do like the mist, believe me. But, um, I thought I'd do a row barrow. And then the f next large walk I do will be the Quantox. Because, because, in the end of January, beginning of February, Alberta will be having her MOT and uh, so in case she fails badly and I have to sell her I've allowed her so much money I've allowed but just in case I'm going to um, do a Quantock run one Quantock run 
Um, very squashy. So that I can say that in 2020, I got on the Quantox. Um, I did a whole year. I think I might have done the start of December on the Quantox. I'm not sure. If not, it was the end of November. Um, I was going to do one this week, but it'll be... It won't be in 2019 now. And it probably won't be till next week. It depends what money's available. <coughs> so... Basically... <coughs> I mean, this can be um, a walk that involves cows in the summer, and I did narrowly avoid a huge herd. I narrowly avoided a huge herd sometime this year when I did this walk in reverse. I think I was in reverse. So I do vary this one. I think I only did it once in 2019. I, I'd have to go back and look at all the videos and, to know for sure. <sighs> Could have been twice I'd done it. I do sometimes do them twice, my favourite walks. This is more challenging today because of fear of slipping and ending up in there. Look. And that would be the end of my walk. I'd have to go back on the bus covered in mud. <sighs> or carry on covered in mud, one way or another. <sighs> I'm just trying to see whether it's better over that side walking. I see there was a gate there. Back there within that sheep field I could possibly have got in. And maybe there's a gate up here, but I don't know. I'm keeping an eye out for that. Well, someone else has been along here. Someone's been along here. So you've got wellies on, there's no trouble. No trouble whatsoever if you've got wellies on. But you can't... I don't like walking long distances with wellies. Now yesterday I had an accident by accident when I was tidying up. A very small nail, very tiny, little silver thing that I used just to tap in to hang a small picture. Must have been embedded in the carpet. And what happened was it, it sort of ended up in my big toe. I don't know whether it just, it did draw blood, there was a lot of blood. It was under my toe, and it did take a bit of nerve to pull it out. So I, I hopped her on, wrapped it in a cloth for while I was getting the water ready to wash it and whatever. Soak it and clean it with soap and water. And then um, put like a waterproof band plaster on it for now. So it is a little bit what I call tender, but not too bad. I shall examine it later. I put an extra waterproof plaster on it for coming out, just in case my feet get wet, get mud. It's not hindering me, but I'm aware of it. You know, like if you prick your finger, it's a bit like that, but it's my toe. And I did have, I have got very thick skin. Um, on my heels and toes, so I think most of it went into the dead thick skin, but it just pricked a bit of the flesh. Um, so I have to keep an eye on that. Um, got to be careful with feet, my mum always told me. Otherwise you could end up getting gangrene. I mean, she always used to tell me all these things, you know, when I was a kid. Now I'm just wondering whether I can nip round the back there. We'll carry on here. Just go on a bit further, Sheila. Don't know if you can get around that bit or not. This is always a bit slurky around here anyway. Um, looks like I'm going to have to cross. That bit looks okay. But as you can see, this is the West Mendip Way. It's an ancient pathway. Used to hundreds of, even thousands of years probably. By farmers with their cattle, by pilgrims going to Wells Cathedral. Um, so I won't be able to have walked down there. Look how boggy that is, over that side. It looks more or less I've got to stay on, on this bit. 
like try not to get a twig in my eye. Right, let's just get onto that firm bit there a minute. Oh, it's going on for bloody ages, this. No wonder those other people didn't come this way. Nobody would say, oh, be wary up there, it's very, very muddy. Nobody would tell you, you see. Nobody would tell you. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little while, everyone. Turn it off for now. Right then. Good job I got a really old pair of... Uh, Um, waterproof, so they're really mud proofs at the moment, keeping my jeans underneath clean if I want to have to go back on the bus later I mean if you've got your own vehicle, it don't matter what state you get in, do it but you you know, I've got to be careful when I'm using public transport look at that, this is the, the worst it's going to be here so I shan't take them off until I get to Piney Slights probably, or even long after that because um, and if bypass people will see me like this, well, they just have to realise it's muddy out. Anyway, there's the landmark. Look, somebody coming. There's the landmark. Somebody coming up through here now. Unless they're going to turn off in that, that uh, gate. <sighs> I'm, gonna, I'm going to, I don't know if they'll turn off. There is a field they might go in. If not, they're coming up this way. Are they going to turn off? No. Doesn't look like it. Right, turn turn off, Sheila, and then come back up.